Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2020 and Music in Motion with Nashville SC. Unfortunately, Nashville are a little bit out of tune at the moment, but we are in the playoffs. And today we have uh, the MLS playoffs. Starting off against San Jose Earthquakes away from home in the quarterfinal. We're probably going to lose. But uh, if we win this, we'll keep going through the playoffs until we go out or until we get to the final. But I'm not expecting us to get past this first game. The reason being that... Our current form is some of the worst that I've ever had in Football Manager. We have lost seven competitive games in a row, which I don't think I've had in a long, long time. Last episode, we lost 1-0 at home to Atlanta United. And then against Columbus, they were bottom of the Eastern Conference uh, and didn't look too good. We still lost 3-1 to them and I almost flipped. Uh, <laughs> I had to cut out what... Um, what? actually that happened because I'm not I didn't just didn't want to show it I wasn't pleased with my I don't say my behavior but my reaction I guess I don't know I, I threw my mouse my mouse hadn't stopped working it's just I threw it and the switch on the bottom of it to turn it off went off so I had to just switch it back on it's, it's working fine I haven't broken anything so that's good so in the Western Conference, we've got LA Galaxy taking on FC Dallas. Uh, the Portland Timbers are facing Minnesota United and we travel to San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, of course, Los Angeles FC get a bye uh, through their semifinals because of their finish top of the conference. In the Eastern Conference, uh, New York Red Bulls take on Montreal Impact. Orlando City face Atlanta United and New York City FC face New England Revolution. And Philadelphia Union get a bye to the semifinals. They finish top of the Eastern Conference. And they also win the Supporters' Shield by three points, finishing top uh, of all 26 teams. So, uh, against San Jose, uh, they are strong favourites because we're in miserable form. And I think they were about fourth in total in the table um, for the Supporters' Shield. So, fourth best team. And, yeah, I'm not expecting us to get anything from this, but we'll give it a shot. We are going to change things up, though. Uh, we've gone to a tiki tacky I've, I've got nothing to lose in this game, so we're just going to try something else. Because clearly, the possession-based 4-2-3-1 doesn't work. So we're trying something else. We're going tiki tacky We're going with a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder uh, just to see what happens. I've got nothing to lose, so we're just going to see what happens with this change-up. Uh, the back four remains largely unchanged, though. Willis, Gartz, uh, Ariaga, Nazari, and Bekelez. Uh, Dax McCarthy is that defensive midfielder. He's not been in good form, the captain. Uh, but Luis Caicedo and Emerson Hinman are the two central midfielders. Uh, Hany Mukhtar will play on the left-hand side. David Akam moving to the right. And Patrick Mann is playing up front as a pressing forward. If we lose this, this will be Mukhtar's last game. Uh, I'm going to transfer list him because I'm really not pleased with how he's done. He's had a horrible, horrible season. One goal on one assist, and that's it. Average rating is 6.59. Not good enough. When we get the ball, go for it. But for the most part, we're just going to try and stay defensive, stay back, and see what we can do. We're up against a 3-5-2. A, a flat 3-5-2 as well. You don't see those very often. Um, but San Jose Earthquakes, uh, they've got Eb Erickson, the top scorer, alongside Kazaj Fali, who I know is Georgian from my Euro 2020 um, simulation series. If ever there's a game that we're going to end our poor run of form, it could be this one. Let's just see what happens. But I'm expecting a defeat here again. It would be our eighth competitive defeat. And thank God it would be the season done, because if this carries on any longer, I'd probably get sacked. But thankfully, some of our performances in early games has seen us through to these playoffs. I don't know how we've managed it. I don't know that we deserve it, but we'll see what we can do. We're going to go up to balance, because early on, we haven't had a shot, but we've got lots of uh, lots of possession. Let's try and push forward. And 28 minutes have just gone. We do have a highlight, and it's a throw-in for the San Jose Earthquakes. And it's Wondolowski. Garza will stay with Espinosa or not. That's a, quite an easy ball for Ericsson to poke home from inside the box. 1-0, 28 minutes. The first of a few goals today, probably, because we're just not doing well in the slightest. Ball out wide for uh, Espinosa. Garza tried to stay with him. Um, I think he may have got something on the end of the cross, but in the end, Ericsson pokes home. 1-0. 36 minutes gone. Wondolowski passes backwards to Walls. And Wondolowski gets it back. Oh, lots of space for Espinosa. That's not what I want to see. It's a shot across goal. It's wide. Okay. Defensive light width. I mean, it is standard. We'll make it wide, though, because they've got lots of space there. Espinosa have had loads. We're trying to play the offside trap as well. We've got the high line. And we haven't had a shot yet. So, can we shoot on sight? Let's shoot on sight. Okay, it's half time. We haven't had a shot. And we're 1-0 down. 
I think we just try and get rid of the Tiki Taka just to see what we can do with this. Let's just try and counter when we get the ball. I'm really, I'm, I'm just guessing at this point. We're going to keep the high line. I'm just guessing at this point, just seeing what works and what doesn't because I don't know what to do anymore. We need to have a real rethink in the off-season about what we want to do. We still haven't had a shot in this game. Here's Lima to Yule. And uh, McCarty goes for the wood, doesn't get it. Thompson has a shot, but that's deflected. This could be a chance to score here. Mullins, lots of players coming forward. Can Mullins pick one out or is he going to go himself? That was selfish. Why would you shoot from there? There was no way you were going to score that. Mukhtar, your career with us is done. You're actually finished now. Torres is going to replace you. Mullins are going to put back to being an advanced forward. We're going to attack and just see what happens. And it's a throw in for San Jose. Here's Yule to Haji, header away by Nazare, only as far as Lima though, not a great clearance, here's Thompson, Lima, and a volley by Youngworth and 2-0, alright, just, we're just going to go for it, I've got nothing to lose, if it's 3-0, it's 3-0, I just want to see if we can get something in this game, a goal, because we scored about two goals in the past, like four videos, <laughs> it's really not good, oh, it was a good volley, to be fair to him. 18 minutes gone. Beckles with a throw. Here's McCarty. And Akam could get a goal here. He's got a... Well, no, it's a foul. It was offside. Okay, Mullins off. Danladi on. Hinman off. Felipe on. Last two changes made. We've had one shot on target this game. Can we get a goal in these last few minutes? Just give me something. That's not a great goal kick, you know, though. Here's Juan Pablo Torres. I mean, he's run over the ball there. Not, not great at all by uh, by the Argentine. And here's Haji. And this could very well be 3-0 here. Wondolovsky, 3-0. Too easy. And that's his first goal of the season because, of course, it is. This was just a free hit for us. And, yeah, in the end, we've lost 3-0. I've, I've, I've tried a few things. But, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this team. Like, we're going to need a lot of work. I mean, Ariaga made the sliding tackle, but essentially put through Wondolowski. Okay, we've got one minute to go and then three off stoppage time. Can we just have a consolation goal, please? Just something to make me smile. A cam. This could be it. Torres. Oh, he heads it over. We <laughs> no, we're not even going to get a goal. It's just not going to be nice to me, is it? What are we going to do with this team, guys? They're, oh, they're actually awful. Eight consecutive defeats. In all competitions, eight. That's the end of the season for us. Um, we'll keep going and see who wins. And then, I don't know what after that. Like, transfer budgets. I, I, I want to try this again with them. I want to go, go for one more season. Because I don't I don't have another save. <laughs> I don't, like, it, it was a struggle to think of this one. This game, is just, there's nothing wrong with the game. It's just been difficult to find something to get into. The journeyman didn't work out. We're going to do another season with these guys and see what happens. We've gone down to a B plus. We're a B plus player now. Some of these are going to have to go because they're, they're just not good. Mukhtar has been a disaster. I mean, we, he was our best player at the start. He was our best rated player. He was our designated player. And he has been probably the worst performer in the entire team. I mean, looking at the average rating, he is. He's the worst performer in our team of anybody. All right, so we're going to play ahead and see who wins the MLS Cup. Uh, and we're also going to see what happens in terms of, I would say awards. I don't think any of us deserve any awards. Although Joe Willis was shortlisted for goalkeeper of the season with an average rating of just over 6.8. I mean, he hasn't done a lot wrong, apart from his very first game where he ran away from the ball in our first league, in our first league game. He hasn't done a lot wrong. The defence, I think, has been let down by the players ahead of them. And again, there haven't been too many mistakes in the team. No one's, it's just no one's played very well. All right, players are unhappy about the poor dressing room atmosphere. It might have a lot to do with the fact that you're not playing very well. But let's see what they've got to say. Concerned about the poor atmosphere in the dressing room. We want this to be an enjoyable place to play football. And it's anything but that at the moment. Play better then. The atmosphere is an important result, sir. So you will need to focus on winning football matches. Everything else will fall into place. Most of the players agree with that there's a few that uh don't how do you expect to get results when there's no camaraderie or togetherness at the club it's important for us to feel motivated and inspired in order to win football matches i can see that i've got a few troublemakers in the squad based on how this is going but i'm not afraid to wield the axe and seek out the causes of this issue including some of you in this room 
Okay, that's uh, not really changed much. Ben Marshall says, you can threaten us all you want. We all know the club would find it easier to get rid of you than it would to make wholesale changes to the squad. I mean, Madranda's barely played a minute this season. Ben Marshall's done okay. Elliot's uh, a decent youngster. And Caicedo, again, has had a few appearances here and there. I'm going to say I'm not going to be able to win you all round. Right. Their, their morale's plummeted. It's it's abysmal. Everyone else is, is poor. Um, do we do like a team building some, or something? Because we haven't really looked at training this season. But then that's it now. The season's done. We haven't really got an option to do any training. Unless we just do it here. Extracurricular team bonding. Come on. Okay, we have our finalists. It's Philadelphia Union taking on New York City. Uh, and the San Jose Earthquakes take on FC Dallas in the two finals. Well, Bakary Sanya is uh, retiring uh, in November, so in a couple of weeks' time. So Sanya is going to be gone. Colin Suggett is also retiring. Who is Colin Suggett? He is one of our scouts. I mean, he's 71. That's understandable. Okay, we have our MLS Cup final. Philadelphia Union take on the San Jose Earthquakes. We could have gone out to the winner of the whole thing. Uh, have these guys won it before? San Jose Earthquakes looking for their third MLS Cup after wins in 2001 and 2003. Meanwhile, Philadelphia Union looking for their first Cup win. Okay, the end of season awards. I use that term loosely. Emerson Hinman wins player of the season. I agree with that because I think he's been one of the better players this season. Uh, three goals, uh, three man of the match awards. Average rating is 7.2. We picked him up in a waiver. Uh, it was between him and Carlos Fierro, the striker. He's been very good. He's been really good with his passing. He can really pick a pass. 87% pass completion uh, in the league. And the other two are two defenders. Uh, General Anababa with 14% of the vote and Javier Ariaga with 12%. I agree with that. You know, our defenders didn't do too much wrong. So, yeah, I agree with that. Emerson Hinman also got goal of the season. Our signing of the season was upon Felipe. Didn't play too much. I think he scored one goal. So, I don't know if I agree with that or not. Although... Not a lot of our signings were good. Um, and young player of the season also goes to Hinman. It's been a good season overall. We had some great performances, but it really fell off a cliff at the end. Really fell off a cliff. Well, the board are upgrading our training facilities. That's the best piece of news I've had in a long time. Well, that was a first. Um, Jimmy Madranda, the left back that I barely used, transfer listed. Immediately got a bid for him from Millonarios and from Atletico Nacional. 550k I think in total something like that the board blocked a sale like I've heard of the blocking purchases they blocked a sale thinking they could get more for him um looking for 600k I don't think we're going to get that so he uh has been sold we managed to go to the board and say look I'm not going to play this guy I just want to sell him let me sell him done he's gone all right we are on the day of the MLS cup final let's see who wins let's see if we did go out to the eventual winners no, we do not. Philadelphia Union win their first MLS Cup. Uh, Sergio Santos getting the winning goal for the Union. San Jose Earthquakes uh, did get a goal back to equalise, but it's a 2-1 defeat for them. Philadelphia Union win their first MLS Cup. So that is the 2020 MLS season done. We are going to do one more, and I hope that it goes a little bit better, because if we carry this form into the new season, then we are not going to see it through. We're going to be sacked. So our performance has gone down to a B now. We were on A plus like two or three videos ago. Now we're at B. But we've got um, drafts and that before we kick off the new season. Uh, I'm going to try and make the second season um, a bit more shorter in terms of videos. Because this is like the video 13 and we've just done the first season. We took about two or three videos to get through all the drafts and all the rules and stuff. Hopefully this time that will go a little bit quicker. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I'll try and sort of maybe cram all the draft stuff into one video maybe i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do it but um i think some sort of transfer special might be in order to do that because uh, i don't really want to have to do 13 videos to do another season uh so i'll work something out with what to do there uh, but the next video for me isn't going to be nashville because it, uh, it's something that i'm going to be doing now um going forward is that in between seasons of my saves uh, basically like an off season we're going to be uploading like a simulation or an experiment or something like that because that way it gives me time to play through the pre-season and the transfer window and all that. Um, just because sometimes when I do that, I feel a bit rushed to get the next video out, if that makes sense. 
uh, and I don't really want to be rushing to get videos done uh, or missing uploads. So what we're going to do, just to give me a bit more time to get through the off-season, is the next video for me is going to be a simulation. And the one that we're going to do is uh, I've simulated 20 years into the future on FM20 to 2040. So we're going to have a look at the 2039-40 season uh, in our next video, just to see what's been what's been happening around the world. So that's going to be the next video from me. And after that, we'll return with season two of Music in Motion with Nashville SC. So uh, hopefully you're looking forward to that. Um, it's something that I'm looking at doing going forward, maybe in, like, into FM21 as well, um, to get some more experiments and simulations out because I wasn't sure about them at the start. At the start. Um, I didn't really enjoy them, but if you find the right ones, they're fun. And also they're doing really well as well. My 0607 simulation from Mad Scientist Database has like over 2,000 reviews, where it's been a while since I've had that. Not since the start of FM19, like the beta videos from FM19 have I had views like that. So uh, that's something that's going to be happening um, for the foreseeable future. But before I start rambling, uh, let's end the video there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments if you haven't done so already. Or if you're new, then do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And uh, yeah, next time we'll have our 2040 simulation. After that, we'll be back with Nashville. Well, hopefully things will go a little bit smoother than they have been in the past few videos where we've lost eight games in a row. Hopefully things will improve uh, as we start season two. There'll be some new faces, uh, probably some new staff members as well. So let's see, uh, let's see how we do a season two. Hopefully we can keep our job. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video and this season. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.